Uh, Kamel. Kamel in the Discord. Let's make sure we're getting the the patrons as well as the super chats. I got a question. For the last hour, I wrangled with a Maytech tail, right, uh, tail light, and I have almost given up on it, but it has a beeper I want to use. My Transtech F72 doesn't have a buzzer pad. Doesn't it? Transtech F7 V2. Is this the V2? doesn't have a buzzer pad. That's hard to believe. Let's look. Well, I agree. I don't see a buzzer pad there. How about on the other side? Like, I'm looking for something that is a buzzer, but isn't obviously a buzzer. No, I agree. It doesn't have a... That's preposterous. How could it not have a buzzer? That's silly. And that's just silly. Uh, so what can you do? Let's stipulate that it doesn't have a buzzer pad. I mean, it sure looks like it doesn't. What can you do? You might think that you could use resource remapping to remap the uh, uh, spare, like a spare UART. But the problem is that the buzzer draws too much current and will burn out the pin on the MCU. Now, the buzzer pad on a flight controller has a buffer transistor so that the, the pin is just tri it's switching the buzzer on and off, but it's not actually carrying the current. So you cannot simply remap one of these pads, I don't know, M5. Like, you can't just remap M5 to buzzer and use that. It will work up until the buzzer burns out that pin and then it stops working. So what you, one thing you can do is you can build your own transistor buffer circuit. <laughs> if you're interested, you buy a little transistor and you build a circuit. That's a pain in the ass. Um, or you could use a self-powered buzzer like the V-Fly Finder. The self-powered buzzers don't draw power from the signal pin. They just, uh, they just uh, use their battery. But you said you specifically want to use this Maytech tail light. I don't think you can use the Maytech tail light with this flight controller unless you build a transistor buffer circuit. Let's, I'm going to need to look in images. There's a... Yep, that's the image I'm looking for. Way back when, good old Oscar Liang has a, has a tutorial about how to build this circuit. Good for him. October 2017. So here is a video, here's a, a page from Oscar Liang showing how to build the... Oh, I better be able to open a new tab or I'm going to lose a freaking... Okay. Uh, this is what you would do. You, you would need to build this and wire it up to your flight controller and then remap your flight controller. Um, Kevin Nebus, I'm not sure how we would use a Xylo Pal to control power delivery to a buzzer. Um, I see what you're getting at. I, that's an interesting idea. Could you buy one of these VTX power switches and that is essentially, that is essentially this. That's what this is. These pit switches, that's what this is. This is basically this circuit. Uh, except there's a problem. The, I would bet that this is high side switched and the buzzer is low side switched. So I actually, it might be the wrong kind of transistor. Uh, so anyway, I think you're in a little bit of a tough situation, to be honest with you. 